Welcome to Firebase Release Notes for December, where we cover recent big and small releases from Firebase. And while the number of updates has slowed down a bit as we approach the end of the year, we still have five interesting releases to cover today, so let's dig in right away. Until recently, if Crashlytics couldn't find the source file name for a crash that was reported, it would assume that this crash came from Java code. This could lead to confusing references to files that don't exist in your source tree, like the one we see over here. But now, if your app uses R8 for its obfuscation, along with Gradle version 4.2 or later, the information about source files does make it to Crashlytics, and the crashes are correctly attributed to .kt files as appropriate. Right now, in the Firebase console, you might see new .kt issues that are possibly just duplicates of existing .java labeled issues. In such cases, we show a banner, like the one you see over here. After a significant portion of your users are on a build that was made with R8, you probably want to close the Java issues that show this banner. At the Firebase Summit last month, we launched AppCheck for Firestore. And with AppCheck, you can easily reduce abuse of your Firebase backend resources by ensuring that only calls that come from your own genuine apps are allowed access. Well, since version 9.6 of our JavaScript SDK, AppCheck is now also supported for web apps that use Firestore. This means that you can now protect Firestore in your web apps through Recaptcha v3 or Recaptcha Enterprise, so upgrade today with the links that I provided below. Version 8.10 of our SDK for iOS and other Apple platforms now includes community support for Apple's Combine framework, which makes it easier to handle asynchronous events in your code by combining event processing operators. Thank you everyone who contributed to this feature, and see the GitHub project that I linked below for full details. But if you want to learn even more about what's coming up in our SDK for iOS and other Apple platforms in 2022, have a look at the project page that I also linked. For example, we're adding support for async away to more of our APIs, and we will allow automatically logging screen views to analytics in Swift UI apps. When you want to get a file from cloud storage into your Android or iOS app through Firebase, you have two main options. You can either use the SDK to read the data, which then enforces access control through your security rules, or you can generate a so-called download URL, which gives read-only access to anyone who has the URL. In JavaScript code, you could thus far only use the approach with the download URL, there were no methods to access the files through the SDK. And while download URLs were great for files that you want to be publicly readable, it doesn't allow you to control access through security rules. Since JavaScript SDK version 9.5, you can also get the data into your web app through the SDK with the new getBytes, getStream, and getBlock methods. This brings them up to par with the access options from the native mobile SDKs. Check the link to the release in the description below. When you use Firebase Cloud Messaging, understanding message delivery is key to running effective re-engagement campaigns. That's why we have documentation on how messages are delivered, tools to help you analyze delivery rates, and we allow you to export detailed delivery data to BigQuery. One of our engineers wrote an article about the aggregated delivery data that you can get from FCM through its API. The article looks at common patterns in this data, such as a constant decrease in delivery rates like we see over here, and which is often caused by not pruning your token registry. See the link to the full article below for more use cases. Okay, those were all the updates we have time for today and in this year. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. My name is Frank Urpuff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.